Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider. Oh, you can't see it. So I also wanted to share with you that, you know, like today's an example. I'm not feeling my best. Uh, the last couple of days I've had a little bit uncontrollable sugar urges. And I realize that sometimes I do that when I get a little bit emotional. So I understand. And most of the time I'm very good at controlling that and recognizing that it is just my emotions. Something happens that I don't really like or makes me feel less than uh, everybody else. Or I just, just start playing the blame game and just getting in my head a lot. And I find that sugar is an immediate gratification for me. It gives me a lot of comfort and <laughs> immediate pleasure. But then the next couple of days it feels like crap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember this and I'm going to implant this feeling and this memory of the sugar and just not, and to try to train and to train my brain to not do that so much anymore or to not do that at all. Uh, I just really feel sluggish. I feel tired. And yesterday I ate a lot of food and it kept me up at night and just this is not the way I want to live. I also find that the closer I hit to my fitness goals and the closer I get to my leanness that I want and then I hit it, then I'm like, oh, what's next? So that's the reason why it has to be more than just muscle. It has to be more than just getting in shape, guys. Because once you get to your goal and the way you look, what's next? You should be fulfilling your life and feeling good about yourself and feeling more confident. So you get a better viewpoint of yourself, the way you view yourself and the way you view the world. Because the better you view yourself, the better you'll view, view the world. And it's just going to be better for both. It's going to be a win-win for everybody. That's why it's got to be more than just muscle that you're after. Today is a little bit of an unusual video day. Uh, not every day you'll be shitting rainbows and butterflies from joy. And that video that I just showed you was kind of what was going on at the time. And I wasn't, I don't know what was going on actually. I just, you get into one of those funks, working out, didn't even do anything. I took a nap or two. I was trying to read an ebook. And that kind of failed a couple times. I kept taking all these notes and whatnot. And I ended up <clears throat> just sitting on my couch reading and taking notes and really just being hard on myself. I know that much for sure. I had a conversation with somebody and they were just saying, you know, you have all these expectations of yourself. And when you don't fulfill that expectation, this is my own words now, <laughs> when you don't fulfill those expectations, you cause a lot of pain because you didn't, anything that you start negative self-talking with yourself is just gonna be reinforced with every day that goes by that you don't succeed in your goals or whatever your aspirations are. So I had a big realization that way that I have to start talking to myself a little bit nicer, first of all. Now, what did I do though when I'm not shitting rainbows and butterflies of joy every day? I still take actions, I, take, I still take moves. I, I'm moving forward, what I mean by that. I'm moving forward and trying to take little steps every day. I don't give up on the day. I never give up on the day. And that's, that's the difference between, I think what a lot of people will end up doing is they'll just throw their arms up in the air. It's like, I don't feel good. They're not really sick, they're just not feeling up to it. It's just the movement of everything that gets you going and moving forward. It's just that we don't want to pick up our legs and our God-given ability to actually make a choice and move forward because we like to end up sitting in our own shit all the time. And trust me, I'm guilty of that sometimes. It's just that the movement of trying to move forward and progress every single day is what drives me going forward. And I only hope that for you too, that you can just take these little steps. And sometimes it's you have to know the difference when you are just literally pushing things too hard, go a little bit slower today on days that you're not really feeling up to it. Still try to do things, just don't push it too hard and don't force anything to happen. Just keep moving though, keep working. What's the next thing you can do that is easy and achievable? And then what's the next thing? And what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Just keep moving forward. And I ended up having pretty decent day actually so I got a lot of stuff done it was it's not up to my normal standard but I got it done and I don't feel like it was a waste so that's what you should do and that's what I recommend doing for yourself I hope this helped and more videos like this will come out please subscribe to my YouTube channel take the body designer 
quiz below. It's free to take. It'll help you get shredded and get a nice little six pack. Little. <laughs> It'll help you get a six pack or gain that muscle depending on what questions you answer. So I hope that helped and I'll see you next week.